match number 23, our Red Alliance wins 206 to 128. We do see a yellow card on 14401 for an unsafe robot. Their mechanism was swinging outside of the field, so a yellow card there for 14401. Before we meet our next competitors, just another reminder for those of you who missed it the first time around, we are running so far ahead of schedule that we will not be breaking for lunch after qualification match 28, as indicated on the printed match schedule. We're going to be making sure to break for lunch at noon when many teams have already made lunch arrangements. We will be taking a brief five to 10 minute break after match 28 though, to give our hardworking field volunteers the opportunity to grab some water, use the washroom, and get ready for the remaining matches before lunch. Thank you. All right, let's meet our competitors in qualification match number 25. On our Red Alliance, we have team 17576. Titans. And their partners, 7006. Robo Titans. Over on our Blue Alliance, we have team 13699. Robo Grizzlies. And 10101. Binary Bullets. And we have the all clear qualification match 25 in three, two, one, go! Autonomous gets started here in match number five, for 25 rather. The first cone's going to come from Binary Bullets. They're gonna grab a quick three points on one of those low junctions. Their alliance partners, Robo Grizzlies, are gonna be picking up five of their own. We do hear calls from an FTA from Robo Titans on the Red Alliance. Taking a look over on Red, we do see both of those robots motionless at the moment, trying to get a good look at the lights inside of the robot. It does look like Robo Titans might not have any Drivers, pick up your controllers. Three, two, one. Lights on the inside of their robot. That might indicate a loss of power for 7006 Robo Titans on the Red Alliance. Taking a look at their partners, Titans, out of IMSA on the Red Alliance. They are in that substation, picking up a cone from the playing field floor supplied by a human player. If you look at the drive base of Titans, you do see this really cool geared mechanism. It looks like they've created a Lazy Susan kind of inside of their robot, allowing rotation for their mechanism. We did hear another call for an FTA over on the blue side of the field. We've got binary bullets taking a look inside of their robot. We did hear some commotion over on the blue side of the field. Their robot now also motionless for the time being, right in front of their robot's starting position. Checking in on our score with about one minute of match play remaining here in match number 25. Blue Alliance does lead it 94 to four. It does look like we might be one robot down on both sides of the field, possibly a power loss for Robo Titans in red and binary bullets in blue. That does mean though that we do see Titans and Robo Grizzlies working as quickly as they can. Grizzlies adding five more points for the Blue Alliance. Titans dropping off additional cones in the terminal for the Red Alliance at one point apiece. Another cone getting dropped off from Robo Grizzlies out of Walter Payton College Prep in Chicago is gonna add five points to their score. They're gonna go back to that cone one more time with 30 seconds remaining in the match. At this point in the match, the Blue Alliance does command the ownership, but it would be a lot of work for them to pick up that circuit bonus with 20 seconds remaining. Red Alliance is still moving quickly. Titans do want to pick up as many final points as they can, and they're just gonna plow those cones into that terminal at one point apiece. We do have a beacon entered into play on both sides of the field. Robo Grizzlies try the beacon. It falls to the floor in the final two, one. And that'll wrap up match number 25.